We have a little skelly bones. Let's get him jumping. Hold on. Let's push him back a little bit. Here we go. <laughs> Lord almighty, look what we have here. It is a spirit Halloween, maybe the biggest spirit Halloween I have ever seen in my entire life. That's right, my friends, we are traversing the U.S. filming 100 spirit Halloween stores, and today we are in Terre Haute, Indiana, about to visit the Spirit Halloween in an abandoned Macy's. I never even knew Terre Haute was a real place. I heard it on a Christmas story when he said the line stretched back to Terre Haute, but I thought it was something they made up like East Bufu. I'll tell you what though, it is seriously Terre hot out here today. And it's hot too. That has got to be the biggest Spirit Halloween sign I have ever seen. <laughs> Tara Hot, you are doing it right. Hot dogs, hot wings, hot cakes with sausage. Anyway, Spirit Halloween in Terre Haute in the old Macy's. I don't even know what mall this is, but it doesn't matter because we are going to go in and see what kind of Halloween goodness we can find in this super enormous store. Look who is waiting for us right inside the door. It is our fate. Wait a minute. What in the heck? Why do people always do stuff with Mr. Grimm? How hilarious is this? I love your hat, Mr. Grimm. <laughs> he is super loud, guys. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, that is so hilarious, guys. If you work at a Spirit Halloween, keep doing things to Mr. Grimm so I can discover it when I walk in. Anyways, back to these two. We got the Possessed Pumpkin and Lord Raven here. Let's get Possessed Pumpkin going first here. You little monsters have been carving up my friends for years. I love his now eyes. Look how awesome they look. They're not just like really oh, fake looking man. eyes. They look really, really cool. And then Lord Farquaad. All right, let's get him going here. Oh, come on. There we go. And his eyes are just little bulbs. Okay, before we forget, let's check out Monty here. I always come back around later on and find him. Uh-oh, he's shorting out. Are you going to work for us, Monty? Here we go. I don't think we've seen a Monty in a store for a little while, guys. We're on store, like, what, number 35, I think this is. And look, the other thing is that usually right beside Monty is all the ghost face stuff. Over here, they have Michael Myers and Freddy Krueger. They must have known I was coming and they hid it from me. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's right over here around the corner. All right, I mean, they do have a selection of ghost face stuff. They have more stuff than some of the other stores we've seen. Look at this. They have the ghost face chrome edition adult size costume right here, which is totally awesome. They have the red devil face, which I think is so totally awesome too, but I am not into horns, so I won't be buying that one. They also have the light up mask. They have the slayer kit. They have this light up knife that's not lighting up okay and then they have this ghost face knife which we don't see in very many stores and they have this one which is a replica of the buck 120 which is the actual knife that they used in the first scream movie unfortunately unless it's in a different place in the store they don't have the blue or the purple one yet and that's the ones that i am looking for right now all right, let's finish visiting these guys over here. And we have Young Haircut right here. I mean, Young Crouchy. We have the Bog Zombie here too. Uh-oh, Bog Zombie is apparently not gonna turn on. Yes, he is. Here we go. He's a loud one too. Oh my gosh. 
I think Bog Zombie is one of my favorites this year, guys. Of course, I say that about every animatronic in here. Then over here, I noticed that we have Betty Sharp. We never see Betty Sharp in this uh, front setup at all. So let's get her going here. Come on, Betty, please. Okay. Can I show you my collection? I wish she would keep moving a little bit longer because what she says is always so short. You want Come on to now. See what's in my bag? Yes, I do. Just stick your head in. <laughs> no, because you want to cut it off and put my head in the bag. My head will not be going in any bags today, thank you. But I do want to go through and see the bubbles of death. Even though little Crouchy is out there, he's not in here today, and we don't have Barry, but we do have the bubbles of death. One, two, three. Four tubes of bubbles of death. I can't get over this hilarious grim right here. I love that. All right, we got the other setup back here, but let's look at some of the stuff on the floor here. Oh, look, we have an actual Betty Sharp for sale. I don't think I've seen any Betty Sharps for sale in any stores yet. We have two fogging skull piles, and look at this, guys. The second store that I've seen, Mr. Punchy, for sale. And we have two of the ginormous deadly creepers. Holy crap, that's awesome. Then we got a sitting scarecrow. We got a stuffed dummy prop. Oh, we got Reagan over here too. All right, let's see. We got the sinister spirit dolls. We have several swinging witches. We have a reaper greeter, another reaper greeter, a crimson girl on a swing, and the empty soul girl on a swing. Okay, let's go check these guys out. I can see we have a nozzles, we have a bag of bones, we have a little skelly bones. Let's get him jumping. Hold on. Let's push him back a little bit. Here we go. <laughs> I was just trying to help, sir. That's hilarious. What a trick. They got the foot pad down here, but he's actually set up on the sensor. So when I went down there to push him back onto the platform so he wouldn't jump off, he scared the living crap out of me. We also have a sitting scarecrow here. Now let's see if he's actually set up. Okay, I'm going. There we go. Sir, I haven't seen you in quite a while. Good job at scaring the crap out of me. Then we have Reagan over here. Not my favorite, but let's see what she'll do. I don't even want to hear what you're saying, Miss Ma'am. Keep it to yourself. There you go. Spin that head and crack it all around. All right, we got Bag of Bones over here. I like how he's kind of leaning forward so you can see him down in there peering out. Let's see if he needs the foot. There we go. Good job, Mr. Bones. All right. Let's go on over to Mr. Uh, what's this face here with green hair? <laughs> Mr. Hot Nozzles. He's Terra Hot Nozzles. He's working pretty dang good. And you can see where they had the fog machine hooked up to him. All right, let's go through the experimental electricity room of death. These are working good. Ooh, this started shaking before I even stepped on it. Now we're talking. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Excuse me, sir. You're supposed to electrocute me to death. All right. Look back here, guys. We actually have more animatronics back here. We got two nozzles. We got two sitting scarecrows. Hmm, I thought I saw more back here, but I guess not. Ooh, look at this spooky dagger. I don't think I've seen this before. We got a couple of the five-foot Beetlejuice snakes here. We've got Hanging Ghostface and Hanging Sam. We've got Sam Inflatables. Oh, ho, 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 ho. the first time I've seen Spiky this year, guys. Holy crap, is he not working? Do we have to pull a yellow cord? What do we have to do to get something out of Spiky? He's making sounds, but he's not sidestepping. All right, artificial sidestepping. And they have a Lydia. Let's see what, yep, here she goes. Okay, no copyrights today, miss. We've got Chucky greeters and Sam sitting dolls. We've also got Tiffany and Chucky in a box. I love how they actually put the details on the bottom of the shoe. All right, let's go back here to the masks for a minute, guys. I wanna see if they would happen to have any other scream masks back here. They do have hot nozzles with this jalapeno nose, but I do not see any other ghost face masks over here. This is one I do love to see in the stores, though, the nighty night mask. He is pretty dang creepy. All right, let's see. Yes, they do have some zombie babies over here, including the burrito baby. We've seen a lot of the brain eater and the crawler 
and the spider eater and the hand eater in these stores, but we haven't seen a lot of the cockroach eater. And it's been a while since I've been to a store that's had the vintage Wolfman doll and Pumpkin Nester. We were seeing him for a while there. Now we have the creepy baby doll here also and Rosalie. Look, there's even more side steppers over here. Step R's, I called them. The Frankenstein. Then we have the creeping cat. What exactly is it that you're looking for, sir? I see something over here we haven't seen anywhere. Holy crap, guys. All right, I need some new pants here because <laughs> I am so excited about what I see. Okay, first of all, we have the killer clowns inflatable up here that I have not seen anywhere else. Then we have some of the other typical ones. And look at this. What in the world? An inflatable coffin with a skeleton trying to bust out. What in the world? I've not seen that anywhere. Plus we have the Fright in the Box and what is this? A scarecrow archway. Look at this guy. It's a pumpkin head, a red and black plaid shirt. Uh, I'm in, he is 12 feet tall. I'm in love. I don't know how much more awesomeness my heart can handle. Look at that electricity going back there. Somebody just got killed. Whatever you do, watch your face. All right, how much is he? He's $139, that giant scarecrow archway. That is awesome. And how much is this coffin? There's another one down here. This one is $59.99. The killer clowns are way up there, so I can't even reach those to see how much they are. Oh my gosh, guys, this store is just awesomeness overload. Look at this. We have two more of the five-foot Beetlejuices right here. We have a Beetlejuice plush. We have an Adam plush. We have a Lydia plush. We have a Sam plush. We have a Crouchy plush and a Skelly Bones plush. How much more plush do we need? All right, let's look at these a second, guys. We've looked at them in other stores, but I think the same ones we keep seeing are Michelangelo and Leonardo. Maybe that's just the only two of the turtles that they're gonna release this year. I don't know, if you've had other ones in stores, let me know. Here's some more ghost face stuff back here. This is the kids' costumes. They've got a pretty good selection here. Look, they have the regular ghost face, they have the chrome edition. We have the bleeding ghost face, the light up ghost face. Now, wait a minute. Glow. Oh, this is a glow in the dark. That is awesome. Now, when these were first released uh, back in the day, these masks were all glow in the dark. If you get one of those original ones, they're worth a lot of money. It'll say Fun World and or Easter Unlimited under the chin. But how cool is that, that they have some of these in a Spirit Halloween? We never look at these kinds of things in Spirit, but look at this, guys. It's a colossal pumpkin carving kit. It comes with a scoop and utensils to carve out the faces. And then there's also some stencils in there. You put on and draw the face and then you cut it out. And I am sweating like a hog up in this piece. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at this, guys. Holy crap, it is Stripe from the Gremlins. <laughs> oh my gosh, how cool is that? Look at this, we got this guy here. I almost called him Wicket. Wicket the Ewok. That would be but no this is gizmo gizmo the gremlin i just love going to so many different stores guys you get to see so many different things 21.99 for this awesome gremlins mask all right let's leave some stickers for young crouchy here and we'll give betty some to put in her bag and we'll leave some for mr grim because he's so hilarious in his favorite new hat all right, guys, that is it for Terre Haute Spirit Halloween in the Old Macy's at whatever mall this is. I don't even know, but it is definitely Terre Hot out here. Mm -hmm.